Hello everyone, my name is Francesca, I'm the founder of Luna Press Publishing and I would like to welcome you to Luna Press through the years. So we're going to start with 2015, which is when it all started. Luna Press has always been about uh, genre, so we publish speculative fiction and uh, since the time we started in 2015 to now, July 2020 as I'm recording this, we are also very much involved in non-fiction, in non-speculative fiction to be specific and Accademia Lunare is uh, a big big part uh, of what we do today. The very first book we published was this one, Tiny Pride and Plenty Prejudice. Now it's not quite a straightforward par parody of Pride and Prejudice but of course it is inspired by Jane Austen by her writing and it was written by myself together with Scottish author Alison Burns. Now this, uh, this little booklet was inspired by an adventure. Alison and I travelled from Edinburgh to Rome and back on my Fiat 500, my Fiat 500, with no air conditioning in full July. So to try and help each other remain awake on the road and not pass out, we would read Jane Austen stories to each other. And we went through the entire work of Jane Austen. And uh, upon returning, we decided uh, to start this new little project. And so basically, we began writing letters to each other and uh, surprising each other really with some uh, terrible challenges. So the blurb goes like this. Join Lady Ever Mouthful and Lady Isabella Pumpington, our 19th century heroines as they plow their way through society by way of a natural act, random shenanigans and very vexing encounters. After all, not everyone can be proper as the eldest Miss Bennet. So there you go. So we, like I said, it was quite a challenge because uh, Alison wouldn't know what kind of letter I would write to her and what kind of challenge I would pose and vice versa. So it kept us on our toes and it kept the writing experience certainly very, um, well, in a treacherous way, I would say, but very entertaining. So this is our very, very first publication. After Tiny Pride, um, something else happened. I started as a self-published author with my young adult uh, science fiction series called Tijaran Tales and after the first two books came out I was offered a publishing contract by Oloris in America. So Oloris uh, published the first two books White Child and uh, The Oracle of Life. The covers were made by uh, Jay Johnston from Newcastle who continued to work with us to the day. And eventually they also published book three and four, The Newern Rift and uh, Tijara's Heart. Unfortunately, uh, with the passing of time, Oloris had to close and sometimes that is the case with small presses. So by then, uh, Luna Press was already starting to form in my mind and so when the, right, uh, uh, the rights reverted to me, I decided, well, I'm going to use this opportunity to continue to improve also, you know, the publishing skills, etc. And I decided, you know, I am just going to publish them through uh, Luna. And uh, at the end of the day, anyone that knew, missed, knew that I started a self-published author, so those four books started with us. I took them back in. I didn't want to put them through another third edition of self-publishing out there. It just, you know, sometimes when you have too many editions of a book, it doesn't really make much sense anymore. So I thought, let's just do this and uh, let's finish the series like that. Now, the last book of 2015 was this one, Beyond Realities, Volume 1. This was the result of our very first short story contest. We, we loved short stories. You know, I grew up reading short stories uh, in genre and... Uh, I was really looking forward to start to, to get a feel for the voices out there. And so I thought that having a competition would be a, a good way to start. We had cash prizes for, and the best artist had, of course, the, the work on the cover as well as their cash prize. And the 10 selected authors, there was a cash prize, of course, the publication at the time. And um, one of the things that I really liked about Beyond Realities is the fact that we discovered voices of authors who stayed with us through the years and uh, we are still working with some of them. Particularly in this collection, we have uh, Barbara Stevenson from uh, Scotland, Anthony Laken from London, 
and Anna Milun uh, from uh, Russia who started uh, through this very book right at the beginning and have done uh, subsequent work with us, which is a beautiful thing actually to be able to work with an author on more than one project. And one of the things that, you know, happened as well, which was for me is very important, is the fact that some of these authors ended up uh, starting with us, but then moving on to bigger publishing houses uh, up until all the way to traditional one and to me that is really really um, exciting because it makes you you know part of their journey uh, part of starting off into the world you know so it's a, it's a very it's a very fulfilling thing for us and so there you go so these are our 2015 first publications Luna Proud Parents hashtag that's what we say so thank you for being with us in 2015 and thank you for supporting our authors. So I'll see you in 2016.